Hello, uh, it's me, James, and I've got a blank mat. I'm going to attempt to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, I'm here with Jason, I should say. Hi, Jason. Yes, you are. Here I am. Yeah, indeed. And uh, I did something once before where I sort of threw some cards together to make a team. Basically, Jason already has a team. He, or he always has teams, and I never have teams. And so very often I end up throwing them together rather quickly. And I thought it might make a good video and it might not we will see uh of just throwing a team together i have the seed of an idea and maybe you can maybe there'll be some insight probably not for the you know super strong players amongst you but for beginners and uh you know relatively new players you might see you might learn something about how to put a team together possibly okay so we'll see how this goes um right so i've got a bunch of cards but basically i want to make this card work I have put, it says, it's Cable Rare High Stakes from Dark Phoenix Saga set. And his text reads, when Cable attacks, double the printed attack of all of your other character dice. And I've put this on a number of teams, and I don't know if I've ever bought him. Uh, and that's that's a great pity. Um, yeah. One of the reasons for that is because he's not super competitive. And I tend to go for Route 1 Dice Masters <laughs> when I go for the most efficient killing that i can uh much to to jason's chagrin um i just don't know how to play orange properly it seems so i've chosen this card as a way of sort of enforcing a bit of orange on myself because uh he, he is a bit of a win win more um probably if you've got enough stuff on the board to to make this worthwhile you might not actually need to buy that but i'm gonna build a team around it and then i'll make we'll make another video where i definitely buy it <laughs> and definitely may I may or may not win with it but I'll definitely buy it and try to field it so what do we need to make this work and I think we need to think about uh, the win con itself because on his own he doesn't you know doesn't do that much does he he says double the printed attack of all of your other character dice so he himself doesn't get doubled so we need some other dice which are going to do the work for us so let's let's start there shall we um, Jason, thoughts on other dice? Cheap dice, yeah, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first two that come to mind are Common Beast, Ooh, uh, okay. two cost, fist over crush, and Uncommon Black Widow, uh, three cost, over crush, can only be blocked by sidekicks. Blimey, there's a good one. Okay, well, uh, this beast? He's on the top of the pile. Is it this one? Correct. Two cost, two cost common beast. Okay. Jason is already working into the fact that we need some way of getting this damage through. It's all very well and good to have large characters, but if they just get blocked, a chump blocked with sidekicks, it's not doing anything, is it? But if they've got yeah. overcrush built in, then that is one way of getting your damage damage through. I was thinking personally, cheap characters with good good stats might be, for example, shiny Harley Quinn. She's a one cost, couldn't be much cheaper, and her stats are two, two, three, three, four, four. That's where I was going with sure. this. Hopefully, we're going to have some beefy characters using cable, and you have to find a way to get the damage through. That could be using overcrush with beast. It could be by going wide with front line, or it could be by clearing their field with brainiac, or you know, could be a combination of those. Um, I quite like the overcrush, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with beast. I'm also gonna put anger issues on because I like it. <laughs> it's fun. It gives a plus three pump, which is pretty unusual. Um, but it's another way of giving overcrush. Uh, another possibility on that front, I guess, would be living the dream. Actually, if we went a different way, we could do the magneto. Who, uh, when one of your mask character dice is KO'd, put a loyalty counter on Magneto's card. And then once you've got three loyalty counters all together um, and a living the dream continuous die in the field, uh, all of your characters get overcrush and plus one attack. Yeah, but if you're going to do um, Magneto and living the dream, you'll want to swap from Harley to someone like um, either Mr. Mind or Mystique because... Otherwise, you're completely reliant on your own KO, your own like knocking out of your mass characters. But if mm. you're going to use, you're going to want your mass characters knocked out, then you'll want to use the low defense mass characters like Mystique and Mr. Mind. 
Uh huh. Or Dark Phoenix. Or yeah, use Dark Phoenix uh, to help you, you know, get your purchases. It's a lot of setup. I feel like <laughs> unless, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do Living the Dream, that almost has to be your. You have to put a lot of focus on it, I think. And I think if you're really trying to set up cable getting cable in the field fielding a bunch of characters that are going to have overcrush or they're going to do damage then um you know it's the opposite uh living the dream is going to focus you on removing a bunch of stuff right away to get those counters when you want to be building your field to get the pushing the good doubling damage with cable there is truth in that, but uh, the living the dream actually can can happen quite quickly. All you all you need to do is KO Harley three times, which will get you to your cable. And by the time you actually buy cable and get him in the field and have bought living the dream, I feel like you could have refielded Harley Quinn quite happily. You know what I mean? Theoretically, that's true, and I've seen people do it <laughs> yes, just yes. that easily. I think I'm only kind of really speaking from my own um, experience, <laughs> where every time I've tried to do Living the Dream, it just feels so reductive that it's, it right. just takes me... It feels like it takes me longer right. than it ought to, but I'm probably just not that good at it. Well, <laughs> so, no, I wouldn't... I, I, I trust wouldn't your that, instincts. Yeah. Well, I think we could go one of two ways. I think that if we go with Magneto, we don't need Villainous Pack because it's the same global. So that's interesting. We've decided yep. to dispense with Too Big to Fly because that's the same global on anger issues. Or I suppose we could put it there right. just in case. Uh, Batman is good for mass. They, those kind of do the same thing. So if we decide to go with Overcrush, um, we have two possible routes here. Or three, I guess, with Beast. We can either do Living the Dream, which is giving everything over Crush, or we can do Anger Issues, which gives one thing a bump and over Crush. Or, you know, you can have both, obviously. Um, right. I don't know. I quite... F yeah, I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. We, we could also go with the, the other Harley Quinn, which does something when it's KO'd. That's kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. When KO'd, you may roll, roll a character die from your use bar. For each energy yeah. showing on that die, deal one damage to a target character die. If that die shows a character face, re-roll target opposing character die. It costs mm -hmm. two instead of one. But sometimes that doesn't make much of a difference to my mind. Yeah, and you're, like I said, you'll definitely, at this point, with the, the few slots left over, you're going to want to start thinking about your removal and your defense. Yeah. Look, I am tending, I am tending for better or for worse away from Villainous Pact and towards Magneto. I'm <laughs> not heeding Jason's okay. advice. And he's probably right. But, I mean, the, the, <laughs> the point of this is to keep it orange and in making it slightly more complicated, that that does, mm. in fact, keep it orange, I guess. Well, I will remind you that the team I have does... It's, it's a reddish orange. It does have Typhoid Mary in it. So if you're going to play it <laughs> against the team I have prepared... <laughs> I'll I'll just uh, help you out there. Okay. Well, I will definitely have other removal as well. I think. Um, okay. I'm going to put frontline to one side. I might live to regret this. Okay. Dark Phoenix. Okay. So if we assume that this is the win con in some way, or we go with mm -hmm. this, maybe that's another. You know, it's another possibility. We still got space for that. We definitely need a way to get to cable because I am dead set on buying, fielding, and using cable. Yeah. Dark Phoenix is a good way to do that. I think it's fair to say, mm -hmm. and it does it does play into living the dream a bit, um, because yep. this gives us this gives us a global that we can use with the cheap mass characters we have, and this yep. um, lets us get a discount for the KOing that we want to do anyway. And if we actually use this Harley, we it's like a three in one. You know, we get a KO effect which puts a loyalty counter here. We get her own effect when she's KO'd, and we get a discount on cable. Come win, on, win win. <laughs> There's also Psylocke for Overcrush, let us not forget. Um, mm -hmm. I'll put Kitty. Kitty is another good cheap mask, but I think I think Harley Quinn's stolen my heart in this one. Batman. Well, we're not going wide. I don't know. I mean, the, the default choice these days for, for making sure that you can get to expensive characters is... What is it, Jason? 
Dark Phoenix. Cool. Well, Dark Phoenix in combination with. And. Ah, oh, yeah, Mr. Sinister. Him, him I've been nice trying to steer away from him, so I haven't even thought about him in a while. Yes, I, me too. Yeah. Me too, in fact. But. Uh, I think I think in the interest of making cable work, I think I'm actually gonna I'm gonna put Mr. Sinister on the team. We should point out that Magneto doesn't need to be bought with his effect. So that's a good thing. So in fact all I need to buy <laughs> theoretically is a couple of Harlequins, which need to be KO'd a total of three times. A cable and a living the dream. And then I need a field. Does that sound good? It does. It does. So, I don't know if anger issues is really necessary. Beast is, I think Beast is quite a good stand-in if I don't manage to get um, Living the Dream. Mm -hmm. Don't even if you know, even if I've got just got Cable and Beast, that's not really that bad in itself. But having a um, having a fist buff is quite a good thing. Um, okay, I think we need to think seriously about a bit more removal. So mm -hmm. these are potentially removal. Let's we have to. We've got a little bit of removal. If we go with the two cost, let's go with the two cost because it's just because it's interesting. Yeah. And we've got those so far. This is a basic action. We don't necessarily need anger issues, but this is a decent team. We've got cheap fists. We've got cheap masks. You've got to think about your globals. We have mm -hmm. this as an energy dump. We don't have bolts, so that might be an issue. We have mask global and cheap masks. We have a fist global and cheap fists. But we could, instead of anger issues, use hunter green which has call out call out's not the best removal i've ever seen uh because you have to do it on your mm. turn and you sort of have to wait a turn so jason's going to be yeah i mean typhoid mary for you so, i am I'm not uh, so you it wouldn't it wouldn't shit. kill you to use it either <laughs> or um for, if the troll is always good well there's him uh, there's her rather and there's also the spider-man Oh yeah, there we go. Why not we do? Well, let's go with Spider Man. He's a fist. I don't want to be. I don't want to do the title okay. or anything. Um, seems good. Seems good so far. Um, so would... we've thought about our win con. We've thought about how to get to our expensive pieces. We've got a little bit of sort of bag management in the form of Mister Sinister. What else do we need, Jason? Uh... We've got Wincon. We've got a little bit of sort of control. And well, if you get that. rid of the Hulk, then I'd say you're doing okay. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty solid. You've got you've got we... uh, Brainiac and Spider-Man for removal. And um, Harley has some removal potential. And then you've got two forms of ramp. You've got two different ways to overcrush. You've got your win con. You've got your card purchasing. Oh, you got three potential ways of overcrush, actually. Let's see how this um, goes. Pretty well balanced. We'll get rid of those. We don't need those. Probably not that. Probably not that. Let's keep anger issues. I don't know. I think that might be sort of overcrush, overkill, but hey, this is necessary. Globals I like to put on this side. So there's those are things I'm not buying. That's my expensive thing. I feel like some cheap removal would be good for the last slot. So we've got we've got we've got a win con. It's a bit complicated, yeah. but it might be fun. We've got some sort of control removal to deal with his stuff. Maybe we could do a bit more of that. And we've definitely got so. Yeah, control. that last spot. It looks like you need either. I would say if you want to go something cheap, either something like Drax or. Something with uh, intimidate. There's no cheap intimidate though, and I'm quite uh, averse yeah, the, to drag. The best intimidate in the game is Tombstone. Oh, I was wondering. Ah, that, there was one more thing I was going to mention, which was Robin's global because he's got horrible fielding. But otherwise, the fielding is not all that bad, actually. And mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to gift it to you. So I think. Perhaps I've only got the one mask. I'll let you, I'll let you in on you... a secret. I'm bringing Robin, so you'll be good. <laughs> I think maybe another bit of uh, cheap removal. What if I had uh, what should I call it? Black Widow. The sure. energized Black Widow. Mm hmm. Which that's uh, the cheapest removal. 
Well, I think there is in modern. Do you reckon that's it, Jason? I reckon if we found I'd it, we say... Found it. You're going to do Drax or you're going to do uh, Widow? I will do Widow if I can find it. I'll just put Widow's dice there. Cause I, oh, that's Harley Quinn. Okay. There, there's a Widow die to remind me. Yeah, and the Widow that's kind the... of feeds into your uh, living the dream as well. Yes, yes, just in, yes, because I definitely need to have uh, a mask die that I can feel. Yeah, I'd say that looks uh, pretty solid. And in terms of purchase, oh, I found Wolverine. Okay, oh, too late. <laughs> too late, he's not made the team. <laughs> um, so in terms of purchasing, we have, we don't have a three cost, which is an oversight, perhaps. We have two costs and four costs, and then more expensive things. We have a bomb. Maybe it would be good to have a three. Maybe this could be swapped out for Drax. Uh, uh... We, have, we don't have any shields. We have masks, masks, fists, bolts. We don't have any cheap bolts at all. But I would be low. Yeah, to but you want a lot of fists for your fist pump. That's true. But yeah, I mean, Drax could be good too. I wouldn't say that it's a terribly bad, or or it's necessarily bad to not have a three cost. Could be fine. I, I, yes, I always find that I regret it, <laughs> but uh, th there will come. Then a go time with go with your instinct. <laughs> but I don't like Drax very much, and there are no other three costs that I fancy putting on the team. I reckon yeah. I reckon that might work, and you know we'll we'll play the team and we'll see how it pans out, and we we can iterate from there. If you have okay, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna stop the video there. Um, imagine that that is uh, Infinity Gauntlet Black Widow rare. <laughs> um. <laughs> And if you have any suggestions, uh, because by no means am I an expert team builder, I just, you know, I've got some idea, but I'm not the best in the world by a long chalk. So if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. Um, and we will play this team and we will see how it works out and we, we, we might make some improvements. Jason, thank you very much indeed for your input. Um, everybody thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like subscribe and watch other videos and definitely watch the video in which i play this against jason's orange monstrosity thank you and bye bye